He's bowing out for three main reasons. Number one is of the view that, I mean, things have been strategically and tactically skewed in favor of one aspirant and against him. And that is how come he performed the way he performed in the election, the superdelegate election, where he placed third um, with Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Kennedy Japan ahead of him. Secondly, he cites what he calls the intimidation and violence in the party as one of the reasons why, against his supporters, as one of the reasons why he is withdrawn. Of course, the popular incident that happened in Northeast, where the vice president comes from, is a case in point that he cites, that he cannot be in this race and be leading a team of campaigners who would be at the mercy of violence and intimidation. He thinks that that cannot continue. For that reason, he is bowing out of the race. And he mentions, asks two critical questions that can the party continue to go um, down this line of self-destruction? And when did the party become this sort of a party, to paraphrase his words? Again, he indicates that he is very sure that the tactical scheme against him and that of the intimidation against his supporters will only be escalated going into the election of November 4th. And for this third reason and for the two that I've indicated, he has decided to step aside and withdraw from the race ahead of Wednesday's balloting. He has indicated, or he ends the statement by saying that in the coming weeks, he would announce what his role will be in the politics of the country going forward. So for many political watchers, this comes as a shock. But actually, here are three news. 3news.com predicted this last night, that Alan Chermati was going to withdraw from the race. You need to trust us for all the news going into the 2024 election.